bringing us a word from the Lord. is a native of Charlotte, North Carolina. He's a 1975 graduate of Livingstone. And after Livingstone went to Duke University, where he received his master's degree, and then on to Northwestern University in Evanston, Illinois, where he received his PhD. His uh, major at Northwestern was pastoral psychology. <laughs> he is, as you heard, uh, the president of Hewitt Theological Seminary. And last year, when he uh, assumed that position, or took the position, uh, he was quoted as saying, Our big mission is to prepare men and women to proclaim the gospel and to further the reality of the kingdom of God on earth. And I think that's why he's here today. He is a professor emeritus of pastoral care and counseling at the Methodist Theological School in Ohio. Where he formerly served there as a director of their Master of Arts program from 1990 until 2012. Uh, prior to that, he was Director of Counseling, Addiction, and Psychological Services at Syracuse Community Health Center. And before that, he was a Staff Pastoral Counselor and Area Coordinator at Onondaga Pastoral Counseling Center in Syracuse, New York. Uh, at one time, he was an Assistant Dean at Duke University. He is ordained in the AME Zion Church and was the first African American chaplain to attain the rank of Brigadier General in the United States Air Force and the Air National Guard. Uh, I know you're asking, what's, uh, what's the Air National Guard? Uh, what's the National Guard? Uh, well, those are the people that the government or the governor calls when things really get bad at home. In uh, floods, hurricanes, raging fires, when we were all evacuating and on the highway headed out of town, those are the people you see headed in the other direction to yeah. come and try to fix it. Yeah. And our very own pastor is a member of the Air National Guard, which means that you know, when, when things get bad, we may have to say goodbye to the pastor as she goes off to fix something. But uh, we hope that that doesn't happen. But understand that uh, she'll need your prayer because, like all Guard members, they are subject to, uh, to call at a moment's notice to fix the things that no one else seems to be capable of fixing. So, as I read our uh, guest uh, curriculum we got, uh, rather extensive, but, but a few things uh, jumped off those pages at me. One is there's an obvious thirst for knowledge because I see educational experience followed by educational experience, schools here and schools there. And then I see a, a a purpose-driven desire to teach and enlighten as he moved from one area to another area and was involved in, in the learning process to impart some of that wisdom. But perhaps the thing that strikes me the most is all throughout the bio, there are examples of dedicated service. Dedicated service. And I look forward to hearing the message that he has to deliver today. I think Conti is blessed. So please join me in welcoming our guest today, Reverend Dr. Virgil Lattimore, Brigadier General, United States Air Force, Air National Guard.
after the the hymn of preparation or the song of preparation, uh, which will be sung by uh, another veteran uh, who happens to be my sister. <laughs> the next voice you will hear will be that of our messenger to deliver a word from the Lord. Amen. Amen. 